I'm very excited to hear about uh, what people think regarding the outlook. It's been pretty uh, challenging. Uh, I think we're all very optimistic as we move into 2019, given the fundamentals we're working our way. But obviously we've had some challenges, particularly on the dry side with the very unfortunate incident in Brazil. That's kind of put a, you know, given us a little bit of a step back. But I think all in all, it will be interesting to hear uh, you know, what the companies are hearing in terms of the underlying improvements, which we have seen in products in particular. Uh, you know, and in crude as well. So, uh, you know, all in all, I feel still optimistic about, uh, you know, 2019 and beyond, and it'll be very interesting to see how 2020 starts playing in as we move into the second half of the year. Do you think, uh, are you worried about any upcoming regulations that might come into play or any uh Thing that might uh, disturb your, your type of business and what do you how are you adjusting to that well uh, good question i mean i think the new regulations you know in terms of the low sulfur fuel requirements in 2020 is a disruption which i think you know is an opportunity for the shipping industry mm -hmm. uh, and as i said i think that that will help uh, you know even uh, improve the supply demand dynamics with you know vessels being taken out for uh, for retrofits and, and you know putting scrubbers in etc so I think it's, uh, I'm excited about it and it will be very interesting to see how it plays out at the end. Okay. And uh, how is your company in particular adjusting to these possible changes? Well, I mean, you know, Clarkson's is, you know, the leader when it comes to investment banking and shipping and offshore. Obviously, we're, you know, putting our heads forward and staying on top of our toes to, you know, monitor and follow the market closely. And uh, I think we're very excited about the opportunity. Mm -hmm.